What is going on everyone? Zena Productions here. Welcome back to another video. So if you hear something horrible in my voice, that's basically because I was sick for the last day. And last night it was like one of the worst nights of my life. I mean, I've never been that sick before. Even back when I, around Christmas time, when I was making those videos, that was pretty bad. But last night was way worse. Uh, luckily though, I'm getting way better. Uh, as it's going on, I had a 102.4 fever last night, and now it's gone back down to like a 99.1 or 98 or something. So, that's nice, but uh, please excuse like anything bad going on with my throat. It's like really rough right now. But today, I have some information. Now, this is from pretty late information because this has been out for a while now. I'm sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry I haven't been able to make a video. I've just been really stressed with school and everything else being sick lately, so... Basically, we have some information about the Ascendance DLC, the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. This is from Charlie Intel. This is a very reliable Call of Duty website. And, um, yeah, so basically we have all these pictures and everything, so let's go ahead and get into it. So, Activision and Sledgehammer Games have announced the second DLC pack for Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Ascendance. Ascendance will be available March 31st on Xbox Live for both Xbox One and Xbox 360. Ascendance DLC features four new multiplayer maps. The new OHM or OM Werewolf 2 in 1 LMG and a new map for Exo Zombies. The new multiplayer maps include, I'm going to show pictures of this too eventually, Perplex, Site 244, Clim Climate, and Chop Shop. In addition, Ascendance introduces a new Exo ability called Exo Grappling, which allows players to navigate the environments differently. This ability will be exclusive to Ascendance DLC playlist. So, the unique grappling ability found in the campaign is now available for use in the Ascendance multiplayer maps. Throughout the Exo Grappling playlist, activate your Exo Grapple ability, faster way to reach strategic vantage points, or as a brutal secondary weapon to take down to competition. So, if you ever played the campaign in Advanced Warfare, it's like the second to last mission or third to last mission, you have this grappling ability, and it's really, really nice, and people thought it was going to be in the, in the multiplayer first, but it wasn't, and now it is. But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at four new maps coming to Advanced Warfare. I'm pretty excited for these maps. So, uh, pardon, like, the bad quality on these pictures, but the first one I have is Perplex. And the description is, Venture into the streets of Sydney and battle throughout a five-story modular apartment complex. With elevated vantages and tight corridors, Perplex is a small to medium-sized map that fits a variety of playstyles. Construction drones will shake things up. However as they shift apart modules and create new strategic pathways. So Sydney is obviously in Australia, and it looks like a really nice map, actually. It looks like a very nice map, and I don't know why, but this map alone makes me very excited to get this DLC pack. Um, the next one we have is Site 244. An alien craft has crash-landed beneath Mount Rushmore, USA, making for an awesome medium to large-sized three-lane map littered with extraterrestrial debris. Gain a competitive edge by earning the map-based score streak to open an alien spore that enhances your perk and exo abilities. So, how would you enhance perks and exo abilities? For instance, Blind Eye. How would you enhance Blind Eye? I, I don't understand how they're going to do this. Or exo ability. Would you just run fat even faster with exo overclock? I don't know, necessarily. I don't know. But I'd say it's nice, Mount Rushmore, very Call of Duty Ghost-esque with the aliens. I don't know about that, but it looks pretty nice. And um, so that's Climate and Per- or that's um, Site-244 and Perplex right there, the first two maps in this DLC. Next up, we have Climate. Now, Climate, uh, the description is, Settle into your dome away from home. <laughs> Jesus. Settle into your dome away from home in Climate. A lush climate controlled biodome with a circular layout and a central island structure for teams to fight for control of. Climate keeps the pace of the action high. The tides can turn, however, when the river begins to rage and becomes a treacherous obstacle. So, where the hell is the river? I don't see a river in this picture. Maybe it's just not in the picture, but, you know, it's a very weird picture uh, for this map. Um, but it doesn't show too much in the map, but it looks pretty interesting with uh, the verticality. And the last map that we have for multiplayer is Chop Shop. <laughs> Discover the CD underbelly of an unauthorized exoskeleton trade-in sh Chop Chop. A medium-sized industrial complex with a devastating map-based score streak, the Advanced Repulsion Turret. Uh, so this is like a black market for exosuits, I guess. It's pretty funny, actually. Just people selling black market exosuits, and it, it doesn't show much of the map. Um, 
and it just looks like it, like it just shows one room like with some exosuits suits and and some boxes so I don't know how that's gonna be hopefully some of these maps have really interactive things or map changing events that would be nice but the thing that really grabbed my attention is the new exo zombies map and this is really nice <laughs> all right take a look at this Ascendance DLC also brings a new map for exo zombies mode called infection the four Atlas employees portrayed in the returning celebrity cast of John Malkovich, um, Bill Paxton, Rose McGowan, and John Berth Bernthal fight tooth and nail through the undead zombies on the, uh, through the undead zombie hordes located on the outskirts of an Al Atlas facility. The new Exo Zombies ex episode introduces a slew of never seen before undead masses, a robust arsenal of new traps and arrangements, and everyone's favorite fast food joint. You guessed it, Burger Town. Burger Town is back in Call of Duty. So that's really something I grabbed my attention definitely when I was when I was reading this or looking at it. I mean, Burger Town. I mean, Burger Town, in case you don't know, Burger Town was around Modern Warfare 2. It was around the campaign. Um, it was around Modern Warfare 3. Um, I don't know if it was around any other really Call of Duty, but Burger Town basically is, like, the trademark. You know, basically, it's saying, like, a movie. In, like, a movie, there's so sometimes, like, certain things that aren't really in real life, but, like, different names or something, like Pisswasser from GTA 5. That's, like, their trademark drink, you know? And... This is basically what the Call of Duty trademark is, Burger Town. That's it's a really nice. And down at the bottom of the article, it says the trailer for Ascendance DLC will be shown up during the 2015 Call of Duty Championship, presented by Xbox on March 29th. There will be two trailers introducing, including a gameplay for the new DLCs, as well as the new Exo Zombies video. So that's basically all there is. Um, I don't know really. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, just basically that's all there is but there's a lot of information that i just gave out to you guys and it's basically all the time for today guys i'm sorry i just can't my voice just can't uh handle all this right now i, I just gotta go but that's all the time for today guys hopefully you enjoy this video let me know what you think about the new ascendance dlc and when you'll be getting it and what's the most thing you're most excited for with this dlc so thank you guys for watching have a great day i will see you guys all later with another brand new video take care have a nice day and goodbye